What's up everyone? So before this video starts proper, I've got an announcement to make. There is a five-a-side football pitch in UCD that anyone can rent out for 30 euro an hour. A few of my friends from Commerce set up a group chat because we wanted to say do it on a Monday evening. I thought it would be cool if anybody is around UCD who watches these vlogs, you don't even have to be in UCD, it's probably only practical if you're living in Dublin, but if you want to meet up with me and my friends and play football one weekday evening during the week, we maybe maybe we can make this a weekly thing, I don't know. Follow me on Instagram, ask Thomas Arnold Films, send me a direct message saying you're interested, and if so, we'll get a group of people going together. It can be like a little mini meetup and you play football at the same time. So, back to the vlog. <laughs> Morning everyone. Oh and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening and good night. Welcome to another day in the life of an Irish college student. So, today is Tuesday, currently three minutes to nine. Nine o'clock I have an ICT for business, small class group, and we're having an MCQ, which is called a multiple choice quiz. We have four of them over four consecutive weeks. They're each worth 1.5%, which is a total of 6%. And we also have an accounting exam later on today in the afternoon, which is worth 10% of our overall grade. So yeah, there are a couple of continuous assessments today, but that's not really gonna be all over the lens. That's not gonna be the topic of the vlog. I'm gonna teach you guys something after this class. So. My class is in this building right here. Building, it's a room. Damn. The MCQ is in this building. Fuck. The MCQ is in this classroom. Let's hope it goes well, fam. Bet you're wondering how well the Thomas doing his continuous assessment. I got eight out of ten. Okay, enough of that shenanigans, but yes. I did get 8 out of 10. I guess a fun fact, our MCQs for computers, you can look the answers up online. So you get your 10 questions on your quiz and it's multiple choice and you can literally just plug the answer into Google. Now you are under a time constraint so we only had 10 minutes to do it and for the other hour there were group presentations going on but that doesn't guarantee even though you can Google it that you're going to get the right answer because sometimes it's not as easy as it looks. So we got off that class early, it's half 10. I've basically come into here because there's a spare classroom here in Quinn and I'm gonna show you how I do my transitions for videos. I haven't had many people, actually no one has asked me how I do my transitions, they just say they're cool. But I think there was a comment or two asking how it's done so I'll, like, I'll happily show you how it's done. I first figured out how to do this because I watched a Justin Escalona video. I remember seeing it and I was like, holy sh how do you do that? And I literally just tried it with the camera and it worked first time. So <clears throat> what we're gonna do is, we're gonna hop on to the video for Rob Lipsit, which was done last week. We're gonna scroll along here prior to the gym edit. But this is him talking before going to the gym and then going to the gym. I think so, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so to my eyes that looks pretty seamless. Now if we go down, go through this frame by frame, you get a bit of a different story. So let's go through. Da da da, Rob being all happy. Da 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 da. Spin, 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 spin. Oh, different clip. Spin, 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 back to normal. So if we actually elongate these clips out, we elongate the last one and the first one, you'll see that this is what I did. So I just spun the camera. And that was it. And then the next shot, I spun in the camera. So all you literally have to do is, say for a spin one, you spin in one direction, and the next shot you spin in from that same direction. And so what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna keep going, and I'm gonna pick a frame where it looks really blurry, right? Yeah, so that's a good blurry frame. So I know if you pick a blurry frame that you're gonna probably create the illusion quite well. And then I'm gonna skim along here, 
So if I'm just pressing right here on the arrow key, there is about spinny enough. Cut, cast command B. And then I'm going to scroll back and preview it and see what it looks like. Let's do it. That looks pretty good. Now, I want it to be a little bit more convincing. So I'm going to lengthen out each side a little bit. Let's do it. Basically, you want it to look like one fluid motion. So that's basically how you do it. And you can. So I, when I learned this, I learned it for the up and down bit originally, and then I applied it to everything. So you can go side to side. You can go up and down. You can go flipping the camera like this. What you can do, I learned this off Ben, is adding in a sound. So for the raw video, I added in a whoosh sound. So. It just uh, sells the effect a little bit more. Something to note though when you're doing this, so sometimes they don't come out very well and it's generally due to one or two reasons. So generally the speed at which you spin has to be sort of similar for both the end shot and the first one or the second one. If the speeds are, are one is slow and one is fast, it's very obvious. Um, it's more obvious for stuff like the spinning one because they can actually just look choppy if you don't get it right. Hey, I did it here. Okay, let's look through this. That was a good one. That one, not so much. So there's a big difference between this and this in terms of even darkness and whatever. Because that's a really big difference in setting and the background, that doesn't make it look as convincing. Let's play the next one. That looks okay, but it looks perfect. And that looks good. So you're not gonna get, I like, I don't get it perfect every time, by all means, but once you have that in your head, really, you can essentially apply that transition to anything. It's not a plug-in or anything, you literally just do it in the software. Yeah, play around with it. That's what filmmaking is all about, experimentation. The apple is finished. I'm now gonna to attempt to get it into the bin. <laughs> I am the one! By the way, what's that? Got a nice little chicken thing going on here. Oh, Vietnamese, oh. Yeah, I should go into the gym later on as well. So, I'm supposed to have three, I have three scheduled more lectures. So, an economics lecture at 12, a ICT for business lecture the, at one, and then accounting at two, accounting tutorial. Tutorials are more important than lectures because lectures are basically, or they're not compulsory. You, you can go at your leisure if you want, or you can not go if you want. But tutorials, sometimes they take attendance of that a lot more and invariably tests happen in your tutorial time. So my accounting tutorial is at two. That's where I have the 10% MCQ. But now I'm gonna get some work regardless and I will catch up with you guys after that work is finished. Or just I wanna to talk to you again. Ah. I never really addressed the fact that today is Valentine's Day and they actually have tea, biscuits and chocolate in the contemplative room. Yay! There's all the coffee. They actually don't drink coffee. These are the cell remaining. Oh my god, there's one left. Best day ever. As you can see, I have decided to go to economics. If it's boring, I have the book. So I can do independent study. Two hours later. Hello everyone. Hello there. Economics is finished. I have an accounting exam in 27 minutes. This is Ronan. Ronan would like a rice cake. I actually already asked Ronan did he want a rice cake and he agreed. So I'm just doing this to act like I have friends. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that bad to be honest. Apologies for all the hand transitions, but they're going to semi-end after this clip. Right, what's up? Redoing the shot because now I'm in focus. How did I do in the accountancy test? Oh, 69%. I am the one. Yeah, pretty happy overall with that. Now that's only worth 5% of our overall grade, so yeah, that's all the examinations done for the day and it's all the lectures done for the day as well. Time currently is 11 minutes past three. So let's see what Calvin is having for lunch. Today we have here a chicken salad sandwich from the student union shop. I meant to pick up the firecracker chicken sandwich, but I uh, was so busy filming myself picking up the sandwich, I forgot to see what sandwich I was actually picking up. Me picking up a sandwich, which will be nicely edited to me picking up also a uh, bag of popcorn. Right, story, hair things. So yeah, took an Instagram photo. Really working on that Instagram grind. If you don't follow me, at Thomas Arnold Films. Yeah. Calvin, we're all gonna wish Calvin the best of luck in his judo competition at the weekend. Hopefully um, I won't get a broken arm. Kevin Owens, who's been in this vlog. You are currently on top of someone's dining room. And this vlog. 
once a land of the elf steady comes, so we're gonna go off to see him now, and I'll see you guys later. Dun, dun, dun. Gonna give Kevin a ring. Yeah, voicemail again. God damn it! Move down, so I'm gonna presume he went downstairs. Let's walk. Oh, maybe he did go down here. Let's have a look, not there. There he is. Kevin, hi Kevin. Hi mom. Giving Kevin steady cam, we're gonna show him how to use it. It's massive. That's what she said. <laughs> Showing Kevin the steady cam. Hey, cinematic, you get in the water. My man right there. Eventually. Right there you go, giving Kevin the crash course in the uh, steady cam. How do you feel about it now? Oh, I feel confident. Yeah. Great to hear, you know, Thomas, the educational filmmaker as well as the content entertainer. So, gonna go shop to get some food before we go work out. I'm oh, bringing Kevin too, won't we, Kevin? Yeah, strolling to get this in the bag. Too big, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Gavin. Bye. Have a good life. Bye. See you soon. Bye, Mum. Hi, Mum. Gonna go to the gym. Four day split. An obvious way for a recreational lifter to get gains is four day a week training, two upper, two lower splits. So today is overhead press. I, I just did legs yesterday with my friends, so I really feeling it there. So reverted to upper, and yeah, that's basically it. Snapchat time. Some people can't handle the sweetness of the vanilla protein milk. I, on the other hand, have a massive sweet tooth, so I actually love it. Yeah, that was a pretty good session. I, my sessions generally aren't that long, really, because I focus on trying to overload on the main lift, and then the accessories I normally superset and get through very quickly. So I'm really only in the whole gym experience for me would only be no more than an hour from start to finish. But yeah, gonna head to the gym now. Or gym? Gonna go library to get some editing done. Ready? Ready for the transition. Three, two. <laughs> Boom! We're As you can tell, this is not the library. Basically, I was editing this vlog and I have no idea where the footage went from me working there and then doing the outro. But that was basically all that happened. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up for f***ing up the outro. Other than that, I will see you guys soon. Peace.